We are on an island in the middle of the Canadian wilderness and me and my friend Eamon, we are going to be surviving on this island starting with nothing except the clothes on our backs. But there's a twist. This box has 20 items that are gonna make our stay on this island a little more comfortable. Some of the items in the box are super useful for survival like a lighter and others not so much. We get to pull 10 items per day out of this box. But unfortunately, we aren't in control of the items that come out of the box. The girls are comfortably hanging out back at Eamon and Beck's cabin, and they are going to spin a wheel that determines our fate. Okay, so we've decided to split up and go search the shoreline for trash that could be useful for survival. I might have found a treasure or just a single piece of glass that's gonna cut me, I'm not sure. I don't know, it could be like a like a knife or something. I'm gonna keep it. Found a wine bottle. Like fully intact? And I found a noodle, half a noodle. Oh, nice, that could be used for like a, um, like a fishing float. I'm gonna clean oh, this up. sweet. There's very little trash on this island, which in the grand scheme of things is wonderful, but trash for survival can be extremely useful as we learned in Panama. I kid you not, we just found what's left of a shovel back in the woods. So I'm not planning on finding much, but the wine bottle is a big score. Oh, are you excited to be surviving with us? Are you excited? In addition to Eamon, we're also surviving with his dog Oso, who is not surviving because he didn't choose to be here. So we brought him food and he's got plenty of water to drink out of the lake. And uh, overall, he's pretty excited to be hanging out in the woods with us. No, what are these mushrooms? I think these might be turkey tail. Come look at the size of these. For some reason they do not look edible. We've been out here for an hour and Eamon's already considering eating mushrooms. This is interesting. I found some kind of poop. It looks very old. It looks like there's fish scales in it. But it looks like whatever this is consisted on a diet of berries and fish. Sounds like what would be in bear poop to me. Okay, so this is our trash haul. It looks like a worm container. Which could be useful for water. Oh, it's so true. But I don't think there's any worms in there. We've got a can. Seems like it could be useful. A wine bottle, this is our first container, so this is a big find. Maybe these could be used for fishing floats, a piece of glass. Could be worse. All right, I think if we get three things today, we'll be totally set. Lighter, yeah. a pot, and a tarp. And a tarp. Keep in mind, guys, it has rained like 50 millimeters in the past couple days, so the, the ground, ground is, is not dry. Soaked. <laughs> Brother bear to ground control. Brother bear to ground control. Coming right up, over. What would be the worst first thing we could get? Probably a cold beer. <laughs> Zero cheating here, Manny. Zero cheating. Her eyes go. are closed. Three, two. Give her a Ground control to Brother Bear. You will not believe what your first item is. Oh, go ahead, ground control. Item number one is a lighter! <laughs> well, the lighter is leaving the box. Good job, Kara. They we're amazing. Yeah. We're amazing. <laughs> what would they do about it? So many temptations. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Close the box. This should be plenty for fire for the next 48 hours. But as Eamon mentioned earlier, everything is soaked. So even with a lighter, I don't think a fire is going to be that easy. Also, we still need the pot to be able to drink water. Because if you put glass in the fire, then... We're thinking the first order of business should be establishing where we build our shelter. So we've chosen this spot right by the beach. It's a little soggy. And this is like a mattress, dude. But it's very flat. It has some really nice trees for building a shelter and we're crossing our fingers that we get the tarp before night. And we can use that as like a ground cloth and a shelter at the same time. Basically a big burrito. Should we build a fire pit? Some rocks. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, it's nice and flat. What is the plan with this? Just like a flat surface? Their car top. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I'm gonna drop it. One, two, yeah. three. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Bro, we could like make a chimney out of this. Check this out. This is birch bark. It's a really good fire starter because the bark just peels into these nice thin strips. It should light really easily with the lighter. And it rots from the inside out. So we just found this dead log laying on the ground and we were able to peel off this entire tube. So between this and some cedar, we should be able to get a fire started, no problem. Oh, there, come on. Ground control, come in. Mm. I feel like they need to suffer for a little bit. I know. Like, oh. Item number two, it's about to be spun. Stand by. Does anyone else feel the need to talk in a different voice when you talk into a walkie-talkie? I don't know why I feel like you need to talk in a low voice. So don't <laughs> <you> see that. <laughs> 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 Boys, I have some bad news. <laughs> Item number two is cake cake. Oh, that is so 
<laughs> I'm just gonna dip my finger in it, get some sugar. <laughs> Definitely not one of the top items on my list. Look at this. A flat piece of wood, I'm taking a bench. Love it. So since we had to come over to the other side of the island to get service on the walkie talkie, we've decided to also search the shoreline here for useful stuff. That's huge. What is it? It's like a 16 foot deck board. Beautiful. Oh, I don't love that. Just a random jawbone laying on this rock. Look at those teeth. Whoa, look at that fang. Is that like a beaver? A beaver mouth? Probably shouldn't have touched that. Oh. Muddy. Not knowing what item is coming next has made this morning a lot more unproductive because we don't want to start any big projects like building a shelter out of sticks if there's a chance that we're going to get a tarp. So I feel like right now we're just collecting a bunch of stuff and kind of waiting around to see what we end up with. <laughs> I just turned the camera on to get that. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure that's turkey tail. And by 90, I mean 10%. <laughs> All right. We'll probably save this for later, but, oh, why do we get the gluten-free one? Wow, that's a good one. We found some big clay deposits. So we're collecting some clay. We're not really sure what we're gonna do with it. But again, we're just kind of waiting on items to come out of that box to make a full plan. Oh, oh I'm more smart than I thought. <laughs> yeah. What's the next one gonna be, boys? Nice. See what we got. Ready when you are, over. Let's log is damp. P, P, O, T, let's get a pot, a pot, P. <laughs> and number three is a sleeping bag. Wow. Oh. <laughs> the sleeping bag doesn't change anything for us immediately, but I think the nights are without a doubt gonna be the worst part out here, so I'm very grateful to have it. Nice heart. Beauty. So we don't know when or if we are going to get a pot today. And we're already very thirsty. So we found this can that we've cleaned out and filled up with lake water. We've ripped the birch up into a little tinder ball. We're going to attempt to start our first fire and hopefully, we're honestly not sure if you can boil water in a can without it disintegrating, but we're gonna try. So let's put the ball in the middle and then just build some of these small sticks and a teepee around it maybe. Yeah. She's gonna blow. Oh yeah, yeah no too problem. easy. Wow. That almost feels like cheating. Maybe we should have put a flint in instead of a lighter. Well, this feels good. Feels like a win. Huge win. Honestly, as long as we get the pot at some point today, I think this is gonna be pretty easy. Mark his words. Cheers, girl. Cheers. <laughs> we should do these challenges more often. <laughs> Survival video, I'm in. Real quick, we wanna say a big thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Surfshark is the VPN Nate and I have been using for the last two and a half years, and we think it's the best because it is the only VPN that offers one account to use on unlimited devices. So we have Surfshark on both of our phones and both of our computers and one account. It's a no brainer. None of the other VPNs do that, I'm just saying. In case you've never heard of a VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network, which helps keep you private and secure online by encrypting your internet activity. This is especially important when connecting to random public Wi-Fi networks, which is pretty much our life. So whether we're at a coffee shop, airport, hotel, or a cruise ship to the North Pole, we are protected with Surfshark. But it can be used for more than just security. You can also use Surfshark to unlock content that isn't available where you live. It's super easy to use Surfshark Shark to change the virtual location of your computer, which can give you access to a completely new content library. That's better. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. If you don't already have a VPN, we highly recommend Surfshark. And you can use our code KaraNate to get 83% off and three extra months for free. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there is no risk to try it out. Just click the link in the description below to get started. Okay, now back to the island. May we have our next item. Oh, it's boiling. No way. Coming right up, over. Oh, nice, and the walkie's reaching. We have boiling water, the walkie's <laughs> reaching from the fire. Something to celebrate, it's boys. Really hot. Here we go. <gasps> oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh! This is too easy! It is, they're gonna be 
be warm and dry tonight. You're gonna be living in luxury. Tonight you're having a tarp. Yeah. Yes. What about the pot? radio silence again. <laughs> Honestly, we're getting so lucky. I kind of feel like we should just go ahead and start building the shelter. Yeah, for sure. Thanks so much for letting us know how you feel about that, boys. <laughs> Pretty big. Huge. Are you just having a dry place to lay down? Oh, yes. Just use one of these as a pillow. Yeah, like, not bad at all. Come on, dude. Out. All the like ash fell down to the bottom. Mm, that's good. So it's taken us about an hour to get this much water. It was quite the process. First, we boiled the water in the can for 15 minutes. Thankfully, this lake water is already pretty clean, so we didn't have to filter any of the big sediment out of it. And then oh, Eamon nice. precariously transferred the water from the can into this wine bottle so that it could be cooling in the bottle while more water goes on the fire to continue boiling. Then we cooled it in the lake. Bombs away, man. Be my guest. Let's see what Canadian lake water tastes like. Mm. Quite warm. Like a tea? But not bad. It does actually kind of taste like tea. I like tea. It tastes good. Can you see the floaties? I think it's just ash from the fire floating around in there. Oh my god, it feels so good to have a sip though. <laughs> All right. All right. God, we're gonna break the bottle. Especially if we don't get a pot. Yeah, we have to figure out where we're building the shelter. Not right here. No. They're like struggling in the wilderness. Please fit. Please fit. <laughs> Two o'clock. Time to call the girls. They better get something fun this time. Yes, let's go. Think of all these productive things. I'm pulling for the pull float. Come on, pull floaty. Pull float, pull float. Paracord. No. It's too easy. <laughs> Are we allowed to respin? I think <laughs> one respin is allowed. I think we okay. Can. Sorry, not sorry. Ah! It's meant to be. Obviously. It was the paracord again. Boys, you are welcome. Ah! You! Honestly, I think if we didn't get anything else, we could survive out here for the next two days. We've gotten all the most useful items at the very beginning. Hey. All right, next time they're not gonna get so lucky. No. I honestly can't believe this. It's like the girls are worried about us and they're just giving us what we need. The only thing is like, how do we cut this? We could burn it. Good idea. Yeah. What so about the glass? You lost the glass. There was more glass. <laughs> I think I might have lost the other piece. We were just about to start building this shelter. This came at the perfect time. We were about to try to figure out how to fix this board to the trees. It was gonna be a lot of effort and yeah, so far so easy. Although I am hungry. Carrie, you wouldn't be hungry, would you? Or? <laughs> We had a pizza party last night. Wonder what the boys are having for lunch. Now the only thing about this design is if it does start raining, the wind's gonna be coming in on that right side. So theoretically, this line is gonna hold the top of our tarp. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't really tie it for it to come down. Nice. So our plan is basically to fold the tarp into a V, and then we will lay one side of the V on the ground, and the other side is the roof. We're basically creating a big mouth that we're gonna sleep inside of. Wow, we're gonna see if we can cut paracord using a hot stick. I feel like it should just maybe melt right through. Maybe not. Not hot enough? It's almost there. Try a different section of the stick. Woo! There it is. And it melts the end so it doesn't unravel. Pizza cheers. Cheers. Chin chin. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to feel a tiny bit guilty. No. <laughs> Excuse me, are y'all ready for number six or what? Hello, ground control. Can you can you read me? Over. This is ground control to Major Tom. Okay. Okay. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do we'll it. All time. What is taking them so long? <gasps> ah! What is it? It's either a can of beans or a pool floaty. Oh my gosh. It's right in the middle. It's right in the middle. What do you think? I think we need to make the executive decision. Okay. Get excited because your next item is a pool party! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, it took a lot of energy, that woohoo. I hope that was worth it. We really appreciated it. Look at us learning things. <laughs> 
already worked out once today. I know. Hmm. Are you familiar with this pump? No. Should I have taken that off? Maybe? I have no idea. I've never used it. Okay. Oh. Oh! Just a couple independent women <laughs> figuring it out. Would you like some warm water? Badly. Tried it? No. Oh. Mm. This Pretty might nice. sound ridiculous, but we've been out here for six hours and we haven't eaten and we're both starving. This calls for a third cup of melted butter, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, two eggs, and three quarters cup of water. And it's gluten free. 180 calories times nine. Honestly, like this is probably enough calories to get us through the next Whoa. two days. So at some point, we're probably gonna try to make a cake if we get a pot, but for now, we're just gonna see what it tastes like to eat dry cake mix. That's good, that's good. I've got a lot. Hmm, oh wow. It's actually like, could be worse. <clears throat> I think it'll be delicious mm. once we make it. It's free calories right now. Mm. Oh, with the water, it's not so bad. I'm gonna go for a little more. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just calories and sugar. It's pretty good. Yes. 30 seconds, you can do anything for 30 seconds. Right. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Nice. You made it. No, no, don't go anywhere. Nice work. Woo! Woo! Here we go, boys. There they are. Look at Avon with his stick. We're living in luxury over here. You yeah? really we got are. Got a little bit of a cake mix high going. <laughs> it's like Is a pop. I don't know. I think it might. He's like, I want to come home. I am making you. They gave us a I pool floaty that's you. leaking. <laughs> maybe, maybe neck out? Oh, that works good. The girls just thought they were bringing us an unuseful item. You know you're thriving in a survival situation when you're worried about a pillow. I'm hoping that this super soft moss put under the tarp will just elevate my head and give me something a little soft to rest it on. Nice. Should we, uh, should we try it out? Yeah. Is it wet? It's a bit damp. Down or you put it into the, your pillow bag. Genius. All right, I'm gonna go get my moss. Is there lots of moss up there? There's quite a bit. You probably took all the good stuff, hey? You definitely got the big blankets. <laughs> so Amy came up with a genius idea to take the moss pillow to the next level so that it doesn't get the sleeping bag gross when I'm laying it on top of it. This is the bag that the tarp came in. I'm just gonna stuff it full of moss. That looks really comfy. I think that's gonna be perfect. Look at that. It's gonna be a little loud as a pillow, but so nice. I might sleep through the night without even waking up now that I have a sleeping bag in this. Okay, item number seven is coming to you from the car. Yes. <laughs> hectic, hectic, hectic. Running a little late. <laughs> Size of the car. <laughs> Three, two, one. What oh, is it? It's right in the middle again. It's between headlamp and coffee. Ooh, careful! <laughs> Girls are going into town for Bex radiation, so. Call cannot be completed as dialed. Should we just get to pick one? <laughs> Come on, cell phone. Okay, Kara just sent me a text. Are you guys feeling sleepy? Because your next pick is coffee. No! That couldn't be worse. <laughs> Perfect, at 5 p.m. Wow. These noodles would have been great. Or uh, an athletic greens, or maybe even this can of beans. But instead, we got coffee. Figure I might as well. Just a little afternoon pick me up. Okay, so we just drove downtown. Beck just went in the hospital because she has her daily radiation treatment right now, which means I have a few minutes to kill. And it's time to pick the guy's next item. 
I was thinking instead of me spinning it again, maybe I could find somebody else to help me. We'll see how this goes. Beautiful. Look at this place. The only food we actually brought was for the bear. So I guess hypothetically we could eat this. I'm not that desperate yet. But Oso is gonna get some yum yum. Oso, sit. Look at that drool coming off of his mouth. Okay. Are you jealous right now? Not jealous. <laughs> you wanna try one? No. Come on, try one. No. This is a really weird request, but my husband. Do you mind? Okay. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. <laughs> that was about as awkward as I thought it was going to be. You ready for the good news? Bring it on. All right, your eighth item is a... A hatchet. All right, we'll take it. Yeah, I don't know that we really have any immediate plans for it. We would have rather had some food, but that'll work. So I didn't even film making this because I was that confident that it wasn't going to work, but we found some clay deposits in the water and then we put them out on a rock to dry. And then when the clay was just barely damp, I just molded it into this really bad <laughs> spoon. And then I put it in the fire and it actually got... I just broke my spoon in half. It almost works. Like if you're really gentle with it, I could have used that as a spoon, but really... I thought that was a good idea. So I've decided that my top priority for the night is to make something that resembles a cake. And since the spoon almost worked, it was just a little fragile, I'm thinking I can make a vessel and now cook it in the fire. And then if I'm very gentle with it, maybe we can cook a cake inside of it. I should have paid attention in art class. Maybe I should have made a box. Oh, show me up, huh? I call this the Cake Coliseum. What's the plan with the wood? I'm just gonna let her burn. I actually feel like yours is gonna work. All right, is this item number nine? <gasps> Maybe we, I don't know, it's hard because we're just sitting here drinking our matcha, yeah. <laughs> watching the sunset. Knowing we're going home to a bed. They're gonna be so hungry though. Like they don't even have the yeah. dog treats to tap into. Well maybe this is okay. Like maybe they get really good sleep but they're starving. <laughs> All right. Really want some beans. Hello again. Sorry to make you wait. We were in pottery class. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We've got a couple bowls in the fire right now. My spoon almost worked. Oh my what? gosh. This must be the magic of the coffee beans. How are you feeling? I just snuck some more cake mix. I feel great. Yeah, spirits are high. I'm really hopeful of a half can of beans. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are not gonna be fed in the next hour, but you are gonna sleep well. Honestly, it feels like cheating at this point. Yeah, take that back. We don't even need a sleeping pad. I kinda want y'all to be hungry for a little while. We are so set up for sleeping. I already took a nap. I took a power nap. Yeah, it's a new thing I'm doing. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Sounds like they're having a great time. Yeah. yeah I think that bowl's a lost cause. They just gotta cook really slow. So my first attempt at a bowl didn't work so well. As soon as it went in the fire, it just started cracking on all of the sides. So I decided to go with a different strategy. I'm using drier clay and I'm using the rock as a base and I just built some walls up. Hopefully we'll be able to cook a cake in that if it'll get hard in the fire. The rock will just stay attached to it the whole time. Like that's the bottom of the vessel. So we have about an hour and a half until it is completely dark and we are attempting to make four different vessels right now. One of which we are hoping is going to work to cook a cake before we go to sleep. This one's just gonna dry overnight, so we can't cook cake with this one. This was my first bowl. It's working pretty good. As you can see, the sides cracked quite a bit. This is my second bowl, which I'm feeling really good about. And then Eamon has been cooking his really slowly. Obviously, we only have enough cake for one, so I would say we need to make this call in about 10, 15 minutes. But which one's gonna work best? Uh huh. All right. Might have to guide me a bit since you're the chef, but. The very first bowl that I made, the one that cracked, Eamon patched up and this is our best bet at this point and it's getting dark quickly. So we're at least gonna try to make a small cupcake and then hope one of the bigger vessels dries out as well. 
Regardless of how this turns out, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Do you wanna tell me when on the powder? Yeah. That's good. You think? Uh, a little more. I'd like it to like fluff up like a cupcake. Yeah, well, you gotta add two eggs and whatever the package says. But a little more? Yeah, a little more. That's good, that's good. Mix that up. Can't decide with this. I'm just mixing a bunch of dirt in it. Like if the- Yeah, probably. Probably good for you, the clay. Not so sure about that. I don't want to mix it too much. Like I see the mud getting in there. Throw it in. We feel pretty good about that? <laughs> pretty good. I think it's half mud, half cake. All right. Oh! Look at that. This looks unreal. The broccoli is gigantic. Wow. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. The poor boys are starving. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> I actually feel a little guilty. Cheers. Yeah, the last time we talked to them, they were like, oh, if we could just have some beans. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's 7 o'clock. Oh, my God. <laughs> On the dot. Couldn't it's have timed time. it better. Okay. We'll put that on our paws to see what they get, and then <laughs> spin this real quick. The final item of day one. <gasps> this is it. <gasps> Stop! No way. Is it too good? These guys are too lucky. It's gonna be like a blob. No. Oh, tell me it's a pot or beans. You're not going hungry because you get to open the pasta! We have no way to cook it. <laughs> I was thinking you could put it in your little can. Yeah, but how do you get them out? They're gonna, they're gonna expand and then we could ruin our can. Our can is our oh, only water. All I'm hearing is negativity, babe. Come on, put your thinking cap on. How about that bowl? We're testing the bowl, we'll see. <laughs> We're working on a cake. <laughs> you might be eating raw pasta. We used to do that as kids. Honestly, I will do it. I'll definitely do it. All right. I believe it. Please don't tell us what you had for dinner. Yeah. No, yeah, no Nate, way. I don't think you want to know where we are right now. I don't. You're doing great. Keep mm -hmm. up the good work. Call you in the morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. I love you. Love you. Bye, ladies. Love you. Love you. Bye. Pasta. <laughs> All I heard him say was pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Wanna try one? Yeah, why not? Oh, so. Oh, you know. Honestly, it could be worse. 10 grams of protein, though. Oh, I'm so glad you caught that. Better than nothing. Oh, it's rising. Oh my God, pasta and cake? We're chilling. <laughs> What's the game plan here? I'm so curious if the guys found a toothbrush replacement. Even though I'm not the one doing the surviving, I feel like through their experience, I'm appreciating these little luxuries a little more today. For the greater good of the water purification system, we are not going to add the pasta to the can, but instead we're gonna add the pasta directly into this bowl and then pour a little bit of hot water inside in hopes that it infuses, or like cold brew, warm brews. Basically to cook the pasta a little bit. And by bowl, he means wine glass. Oso also loves the pasta raw. Mm. All right, let's see how the cake's doing. A little bit soft. I'm gonna grab my brush. Is this your brush? Yes. Works quite well. Yeah. We are going to be sleeping in luxury also, oh, tonight. Oh. oh, oh, sorry. Pillows, mattress. These mattresses blankets. are thick too. Do they self-inflate? Yeah. We are glamping at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we got some free, like, free tools to use. Also, I don't like the idea that he's barking into the woods when we're about to go to sleep. He hasn't done that all day. <laughs> oh. Also, good thing. Wow. Oh. Think. 
this is actually so comfortable. At this point, the only reason I'm not gonna sleep good is if it rains or if I hear stuff. I'd say there's a very good chance of the ladder. So this is the setup. We got a nice thick sleeping pad, 40 degree bag, and the moss pillow. Oh, buddy, that is a luxury. This feels so wrong. Even though the guys have a pretty good bed set up, I'm really going to appreciate this more tonight. Because I'm dry and there's no bears and there's no bugs. Mmm, water's still really warm. Oh, but it does taste like pasta. That's actually kind of good. We may be stuck with our um, water tasting like pasta for the rest of the trip. Oh. Oh, I it's so I don't good. hear a crunch. Wow. Today couldn't have gone better. Like realistically, finding that can, getting our water filtered, and having a bit of a dinner. Mm. Like what more could you really ask for? And the cake for? is cooking. Oh, the cake's burning. The cake's mm. on fire. That log caught a lot quicker than I thought. Oh, baby, it's cooking! <laughs> we got dessert! You Pasta party! Mmm. <laughs> Do you think this has literally ever been done before? <laughs> are we the first? This is what island survival things are made of. This is not what we were doing the first night on the island in Panama. You didn't have me there, bro. That could have been the problem. I'm getting smoked out. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, dude. <laughs> Golden. Careful. Nice work. Smells pretty good. <laughs> All right, trying the cupcake. Oh, it actually like turned into cake. That's look at, great, Look bro. at that. You can actually pull that right out. Look at that. I'm just gonna go with my fingers. The best piece of cake I've ever had in my life. <laughs> yeah, just go with the hands. I think that's the move. So good. Wow. I'm so sad we couldn't cook this in one of the bigger containers. Literally, I was pretty stoked with just the pasta, but to have that little bit of at the end of the night, we're living out here. <laughs> it's perfectly cooked. It's got a mild clay flavor, <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I think clay is detoxifying. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, you hear that? It's a little stony sand clay thing going on in there. <laughs> <laughs> girls are gonna come to pick us up and we're gonna be like, just leave us. We're sugar high, <laughs> baby, eating out of our homemade bowl. We should probably put this bowl far away from camp so we don't attract the bears. We should probably throw it on the middle of the lake. Also, if we throw the bowl in the middle of the lake, are you gonna try and chase like mm, little spit bubbles? He's drooling so much. Watermelon sugar, hi. Uncle Betty, <laughs> y'all know how to make a cake. decided he likes my side better than yours. Oh, smart dog. <laughs> oh. Better not mess with us, bear. Get him, Oso. You nice and covered up? Yeah, that's a good boy. Keeping the mosquitoes off you? <laughs> this is pretty ridiculous what we're doing right now, dude. <laughs> this is how I'm planning on sleeping all night. <laughs> You can breathe pretty good through this thing. <laughs> does it look as ridiculous as I feel? Yeah, it does. And the woods are just literally right here. <laughs> All right, wish us luck. Night, brother. Good night. No, no head. This is how I'm doing it. I got my, uh, this thing. I'm gonna probably sleep like this. Nice. I'm sure Nate and Eamon are having a great time, but I know they were not looking forward to sleeping. Beck and I seriously had the best day together. I'm just so glad that they're doing this challenge so we could have some girl time. So it's gonna feel weird sleeping alone. Good night, Nate, I love you. I'm just checking in. It's 11. We've been laying here for two and a half hours. 
They're relentless, dude. The noise is like. <laughs> I slept. I just decided to get in my sleeping bag even though it's hot because the mosquitoes are literally eating me through my clothes. I would give up the tarp, sleeping bag, and sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Rough night. At least there's no crabs. I can't, I can't do it, man. I'm in so much pain. <laughs> I admit it. I'm cheating. I just I feel sick. And they're just relentless. Like I don't know how you're doing it. <laughs> I think it's you've got the full size buff. It must be the full size buff. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to switch. Maybe. <laughs> it is miserable. It's miserable. Yeah, the mosquitoes are crazy. Look at them all. Look at them all. There's literally like 500 here. Can you see them? The whole time. Me. I feel bad for Oso. I stole the mosquito net. I got two. I'm gonna give you one. No, I'm not taking it. You're such I'm a, a purist. purist. You're such a purist. Come on, Oso. Come here, Oso. There you go, buddy. You're in the zone. You're in the zone too. I did it for my dog. Anyone who wants to leave a comment, leave your comment. You would do the same. Do it for my doggy. Come here. You can come here. Good boy. This is so nice also. Nate and Eamon still have another 24 hours left on this island. And part two of this crazy challenge continues over on Eamon and Beck's channel. Dude, we built our shelter on a mosquito farm. <laughs> now you must go watch to see if the bromance oh, breaks up after Eamon's late night deception. <laughs> I'm going nuts out here, dude. The second day on the island is definitely a roller coaster. What's going on? Are you okay? And someone goes home early. You don't want to miss it. Eamon and Beck's channel. Go watch part two. You know you want to. Do it.